So this video is about the relationship between the body and ethics, trauma and violence. So when people talk about ethics or morality or values, they tend to talk about it as an abstract cognitive thing. Actually, it's not that way at all. This is something that very much lives in our bodies. So put in very simple terms, our body tells us what's right or wrong. Yeah? Uh, a great experiment from one of my teachers, Paul Linden, is um, it's a little disturbing, but give it a try if you want. Imagine you're, you're choking a baby bunny rabbit. It's like a cute little baby bunny or a puppy. Yeah? Now most people, even imagining that, your body will contract, you'll twist, there'll be a visceral embodied response in terms of your posture, in terms of your movement style, your muscle tone. It doesn't feel good, even just imagining it. Yeah? Now in terms of violence in life, this is even more so. We have a felt sense that violence isn't pleasurable, violence isn't a good thing. So how do people commit violence? Well, they get dissociated from that response. They lose the contact with that response. Uh, there's been lots of studies, for example, saying sh of soldiers that they're deliberately missing. They don't want to shoot people. Yeah? So actually, modern armies train people out of that, partly by sort of brutalizing them so they don't feel the body. Child soldiers go through this process in an extreme way. Also sort of setting up a conditioning to allow them to do that. So it actually takes a, con a reconditioning process for people to learn to do violence. Um, equally, the adage that hurt people hurt people sadly can be true. So the idea of when we've had trauma ourselves and we've had violence done to us, it creates uncomfortable feelings and emotions in the body. As a safety mechanism, we deal with that by trying to get away from those, by coming to live in our heads, by not feeling ourselves. By not feeling ourselves, we can't feel our compassionate response for other people, for the environment, for animals, for whatever it is. You know? So I'll say it again, this is really important. Our compassion, our ability to feel other people, our ability to therefore realize that it's not a good thing to do them harm, is in the body. So the more in touch with ourselves we are, the more in touch we are with that intuitive, ethical sense of, hey, this is a good thing to do. That feels, you know, feels good to help people. It does, when you help people, it feels good physically, right? An altruistic act feels really good if it's genuine, yeah, if it's really authentic. And equally, you're in touch with that. You know what, I've started to do someone a bit of emotional damage here, and ah, it doesn't feel good. And not about sort of shaming yourself morally from a mental point of view. It's simply about feeling, hey, this isn't the way I wanna live. Like, you know, I'm in touch with this. This doesn't feel like what I wanna do right now. So if we look at the conditions of the modern world, they may encourage us not to feel. So the modern world, it's often around external things, about the consumer world outside, what we're trying to get out there, rather than the sense of satisfaction in the self. Yeah. Equally, a lot of the ways of working now, for example, working on computers, working with abstract information, that may well take people out of their body. So this is a little disturbing, and I, and I think it's why it's important to actually have a conscious body awareness practice, not, not just for our physical health, but also for our ethical health. I hope that's given some insight into how the body links in with violence and how trauma is one of the things that need to be overcome for, for a less violent world. Put very simply, how we treat our own bodies is how we treat other people, is how we treat the planet. If we can't feel ourselves, we can't feel other people, we can't feel the planet. If we want to treat other people well, we need to be in touch with ourselves first of all.